Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks coming to you live and direct from our global headquarters here in Rochester, New York with another great A-Team Friday. That's Ask the Experts, Anything Meaningful Friday. And we're fans of A-Team. We have a special guest today. We're going to call her Loretta Rhett Stevens today <laughs> because she had a nickname and she told me, so you know I'm going to use it. Uh, Loretta, <laughs> thanks for being on with us today. Thank you for having me. So tell the people a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, your, where you are and what you do for a living because you are a subject matter expert and that's why we have you with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm based in Connecticut, actually, and I have been in business for 10 years. This is my 10th anniversary as a branding expert, um, was into branding actually before I started, but, uh, time flies and here we are. Time flies. So you're my neighbor kind of to the Southeast of New York. We love Connecticut, uh, and, and branding expert. I love, um, especially in the real estate industry. I feel like so many people are like, I'm building my brand. I'm building my brand. What's your brand? I don't know, but I'm building it. <laughs> You know, so let's start like, yeah. what is a brand? Let's define that. Let's start off with that. I know. And that question comes up for the last 10 years. People still ask what is a brand and it changes with the times. I got to tell you. So a brand now means something different than 10 years ago when we talked about personal branding, um, especially now in the world with so much disruption, um, people have been really forced to or actually welcomed in um, a chance to look more about who they are and what they really want to be doing. So a brand now is really more introspective, um, looking at really what fulfillment is to somebody and working from that place and defining what they're what people want to do next. And that's in their business and in their career. And in the real estate industry, there's so much happening around us and, uh, and so much disruption there as realtors and anyone in the field. It's about, you know, how am I going to make the biggest impact with who I am to my audience and to my clients um, who I want to serve? How can I serve them better knowing who I am better? So I love that being able to serve better by knowing who I am uh, because I feel like you know, when I first started in real estate, I worked for a big company, 700 agents, right? And they, they taught me, this is the mothership. The mothership is the, the brand. And this is why you get business and you're going to help us build that brand. And it took me a few years. It's almost like they, they beat down your self-esteem to tell you like, you can't exist without us. And so it's right. like, how can we as agents, if we're, if we're in that kind of situation, or maybe we're just brand new, like we don't know uh, who we are, what we are, what we bring to the table, like how can we start to identify that? Yeah, that's a really great question too. Um, well, I go about, my framework is really looking at three areas and it's your strengths, skills, and core values. It's really as simple as that, yes. you know, looking at your core strengths and if you're not sure what those are you know the tool i use is strengths finder everybody knows that who works with me I've, I've been a coach for over 10 years that is one of my favorite tools it's an easy way to identify your strengths um hold on and slow I, down slow down yeah. say that again uh strengths finder 2.0 is that like is, a program a website it's in a, an assessment. Uh, it's okay. actually an assessment it's a book that has an online code in the back Okay. And it will help you to identify your top five strengths. And it will also, there's like a coaching guide in there also for people. And it will also tell you things that will complement your strengths and people who you can work with. So it's a really great coaching tool for individuals and also teams. So any brokers out there who want to do a training for your teams, uh, this is a great tool for, um, really collaboration and just helping someone with their brand brand building and also whatever 
the results are you can use those results in your marketing to help market yourself. And that's a lot of what I do in helping my clients to brand themselves. In addition to using a um, reach 360 personal brand assessment, I love to give that as well. That helps you identify your attributes and, and also core values. So the three together really helps someone to identify further with their personal brand and how they can really stand out um, against their peers and also collaborate with their peers and really serve their audience. So do you find sometimes when somebody's building a team, they, and they identify what their strengths are and then they're just, they, they get people like them and it's like, we have all these strengths, but we're not kind of filling in the weaknesses or, you know, all the pieces to the puzzle. Like what, what do you recommend in that scenario? Oh, well, everyone has a unique strength to bring to the table. So it's really the diversity of the team that works and um, everyone has a superpower in their strengths. So um, yeah, and it's really working, um, working together um, with each other's strengths. And that's how team building, uh, really strong teams are, are formed um, by understanding what each other's strengths are um, on the team and also how they can, you know, relate to different clients, you know, different people. So um, I love the strengths finder tool is really, really, um, it, it's very insightful for people. Um, and, is there an online and as a collaboration that, tool as well. Mm -hmm. Is there an online something that we can kind of post in the, in the comments or is it just the pick? You can go to the website at strengthsfinder.com. Okay. I believe. We'll post that yep. There. And there is a, is a lot of information there. Strengthsfinder.com. Yep. What about. I love core values because I feel like for me, when I, when I, like I talk a lot about social media, I'm like stop posting, like you just sold something and you're so awesome and you get all these awards. Like, what do you really, what do you really care about? Because when you can start connecting on that heart to heart level, rather than, you know, it makes sense to buy a home. It's tax deductible. I haven't have a, right. you know, it's like, you know what? I love when my kids can run in the park across the street from my house. Like that makes me happy. That brings me joy. And that's why I bought a home. And when I can, you know, relate that with stories for me, when I go core values, it's, it's family, fun, and fitness, three F's for me, all about family. I love to have fun and I'm into fitness. And if those don't work for you, then, Hey, we got to work together. Right. So absolutely. Um, how can we ha help folks identify what their core values are? Cause I feel like sometimes we're so. I don't want to use the brainwash again, but it's like that corporate mindset sometimes that people have where it's like it's about the business and core values touches in more on, on like the personal side and really having to to think inward, which, you know, is something I might struggle with sometimes. It's, you know, core values is, is a little ambiguous to a lot of people, you know, and it's like, tell me your core values. And it's like, you're really you're like, what? So it's right. So it's one of those. <laughs> it's kind of like, tell me America. Uh. <laughs> so, you know, core values is it, it's really um, the things that give you joy and fulfillment and that, you know, get you out of bed at, you know, 5 a.m. on Saturday to go do something, you know. So family, you know, is a core value. There's so many different core values, but um, ask yourself what fulfills you and gives you joy and how you serve yourself, your family, your friends, your community, your work. And, and you find the words by doing that. <laughs> so, um, and I, again, there's an assessment for everything. You can find a core value uh, assessment online. There's ways that you could help me you know, there are tools that will help you do that. And um, if you're finding yourself stuck, but certainly um, going deep, within yourself is where you're going to find your core values and what's going to also, um, help, you know, who, what kind of, um, marketplace do you want to be serving in real estate? You know, what kind of homes do you want to be selling? What kind of lifestyle do you resonate with, with your clients, um, that you can have real communication, real authentic communication with, you know, and it's really about building that rapport and relationship with your clients, um, because you have something in common with them. And that is when you're going to find the best business, the best success in this marketplace right now, and really connecting with someone who needs your help. Wow. 
great message. So let's talk. So we've identified our strength, skills, and core values. So now what's our next step? Because like I hear people talk about branding and like, like, you know, you got to have a palette. You got to have some colors that you're going to stick with all the time. Like how important really is that? Because it's so annoying to me because I'm, I don't want something else that I need to plan. <laughs> and like, right. And like, right. like, I don't like to follow rules as it is. Like you, now you're going to tell me like my whole scheme on my social media has to be within the color palette that I chose for my branding. Ugh. So tell me. Yeah, if, well, it, kinda, it is important. <laughs> yeah. It is important. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's important because you want to have some consistency across these social media platforms. And there's so many of them now. So whatever you're choosing to be on, make sure that it's consistent with the other platforms you're on. So you, if your colors are blue and green, then pick a banner that has blue and green, have a, you know, get something, have a designer or, you know, work in Canva to make some great, visuals for yourself. But I, yes, to stand out in this commoditized, highly competitive marketplace, colors are going to help you to stand out uh, from everyone else um, for sure. Okay. Now that I'm wrong, <laughs> I, I, I don't have a problem. That's why I love, I love bringing on experts because now you're like, okay, why is it important? Cause for me, I'm always like, don't tell me what to do unless I know why you're telling me what to do and, and how it makes a difference. Cause I think when you think about brands that you remember, you know, you're like Buffalo bills, for example, right? I'm going to say that like they're red, white, and blue. And you see that, you see that blue, that blue dominant colors, like bills. Like I almost can see a bills fan as I'm running or I'm driving or whatever it is. That's identifiable. And I, and like, we're automatically like, yeah. And so right. I, I guess I could, I can well, the other thing I will say too is images. So if you have a consistent image, if you're going to show family, you know, images, that's another way to do it with certain images. So, so on, since you mentioned Canva, like there's color palettes on there in Canva that you can kind of choose that, are, that not that they're matchy matchy, but you, you help me here because you're the expert they kind of go along with each other and you can choose that palette of like three colors to use for, right. cause like right now, if I don't have a brand or I just started with a new brokerage or I'm brand new in real estate, or I want to identify what I want to, to represent me for the near future or forever. Um, right. is that a good place to go? Like, so yeah, I, I recommend uh, really Canva for individual brands and for branding yourself independent of, um, you know, brokerage firms. I really love when the firms brand their low, when, when the realtors brand their, themselves with the firm. Um, I think that's a really powerful way to, you know, build, um, you know, a, a community around the brokerage firm. So um, I, I do a lot of coaching with teams on that and, and helping them to just, you know, working with, with brokers and helping them to identify what brand they like and what they want the realtors to have to identify with brand. So, um, so having some individuality within the firm is good, but I also like uh, working with, with the corporate or the brokerage brand too. Yeah. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, no, it does. Cause we always like, um, we're working with new agents. They're like, well, I, I don't have any business. I don't have, well, ride the company brand for a little while to right. figure out who you are, right. As, as an individual and then develop your individual brand. Um, I know when I, when I talked about the big brokers that I worked for, when I, when I made a move, it was almost like, I didn't know who I was. Right. I, I met with my new broker and he was like, well, you know, what makes you different when I'm like, eh, I worked for that company and they made me different. And he's like, no, 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 no. We had to sit down. And that's actually, um, long story short, my whole name, Jeremiah Monero, um, uh, they kept that URL. They did like, they didn't release it, the company that I left. And oh. so I had to create a new brand and that's where J man, my first name is Jay. Last name Monero. That's where J Man came from. My broker was like, "Hey, how about J Man sells?" Okay, and, and at the time it was 2008, which we, you know, that there was some, right. some some challenges in real estate in 2008, 
and so we wanted to be seen as like your real estate superhero and so we identified with da -da -da -da, and that's our entire brand is is around you know being your real estate superhero i d i love how you got creative with that for yourself very good very Thanks. good brand j man really is, is you just remember it <laughs> so yeah but, but then jeremiah's maniero <laughs> like how many times can that be <laughs> said the wrong way uh we talked about that when wait did i spell your name right i did it i did spell your name right right uh yes you did okay i'm like Shoot. <laughs> we talked about it and everything yes. I'm like i hope so i was doing it quickly all right fantastic uh yeah. so as as okay. we we identify our colors and our uh, everything that we want now how are we building a brand how how do we really get this out there to the masses oh so many ways to build a brand and it's really it's all things so it's building relationships with people it's talking to people online we're in this new world of virtual so you really want to be present online and having conversations with people just like you were in the room with them. So social media is not really difficult when you just realize someone is at the other end of the screen, you know, at the other end of the text of the message, the things that you're saying. So uh, building a brand online, building a brand in person. And then of course, as a marketer, the marketer in me is to build a brand in print, which is, or, you know, graphics or digital, get some visual identity for yourself out there, whether you're going to do a trade show if, as they come back, have some branding for yourself, business cards, if we're ever going to use those again, <laughs> um, you know, but uh, again, using Canva for some social media, um, building a website, maybe a web landing page for yourself, um, you know, anything that your company is doing to help advertise the, the, um, the firm's brand that you could tag on to for yourself. Um, all these different ways to um, really all different communications that you that are available to you uh, that resonate with you, I would harness. Yeah, so I'm hearing like by land, by air, and by sea. Like every which, <laughs> kind of, by, yeah. by every which way that you can print Whatever digital. You do, yeah, yeah uh, get right. it out but there. But relationships are always really number one. So yeah. Well, and I'm going to come back on people. what you said about video because I love video. Um, but it's Absolutely like video. every time, like we look at the last 20 months, how many Zooms have we been on, folks? Think about it. Right. How many freaking Zooms? If I had a tick mark every time I was on a Zoom, I'd be nuts. But that's it. Every, every time you hop online, that's an opportunity to brand yourself, right? That's why I went so deep right. in. I'm like, I do video, but guess what? I want to be branded with having exceptional video. So let me let me get the DSLR camera. Let me get the cool backgrounds. Let me so I can be on a on a screen with forty eight other people because forty nine people fit on there. And they go, right? Damn, who's that dude right there? You know, and then I can kind of brand my. You always have an opportunity to add something on the screen, add a logo in the background, whatever you want to do. Um, you're missing the boat here because that's right. Those are free impressions it that is. you're getting every every meeting that you're in. Absolutely. And it's one of the number one platforms right now for branding yourself. So you're right. <laughs> uh, so what else do you think um, we should we should tell them about branding? Uh, we had talked else? a little bit about what like what's what's trending right now. I think you had made mention of. Uh, there's so many, yeah, lots of trends, lots of trends right now, because we're in a disruptive world with every industry, with every career. So everything is, everything is really shifting. And so it is more important now than ever before in branding to learn how to become indispensable. I think Jay Man, you and I were talking about that yesterday. And the best way that you can be indispensable is to know thyself and know thyself well. And so when you know who you are and uh, what you is that you stand for, you are unshakable and you will not be so full of fear and uncertainty. You're going to take the action and go serve your marketplace because people need you out there and you need to stand in for yourself so you can, you can serve them because they need you right now. So, um, and disruption is going to continue. 
we're going to have to learn how to really adjust to this in ourselves so that we can still lead our lives. So that is a big trend. So they're calling that the, the great reevaluation and the great resignation. I don't know if you've heard of that out there. Um, and it, the hybrid work environment is really causing this, um, you know, deeply within us all. So uh, will this, you know, this is definitely into next year. Who knows yeah. after next year? I mean, that's all I'm going to say for that. Right. Yeah. That's I mean, just one, I, yeah. I think you're totally right, especially as like companies reevaluate their whole structure of how yeah. they work because now they're like you know what we never thought that we'd allow people to work from home but right. we did and we're still in business and maybe we're more profitable maybe we can cut the brick and mortar in half and have right. less overhead and just be lean and make money and, and and i think what you're saying there as far as being indispensable if we applied to real estate or any industry right as people look t at their workforce and say we got to cut somewhere Right. But that that Loretta, man, she's really set herself apart. We cut her. Our competitor is going to pick her up because people do business with her because of her. Right. right. That's what's going to happen. And, yeah. and I, I think in real estate, it's the same thing. It's, you know, uh, I built a brand that I know. I'm OK. Like if you say if, if my, right. uh, not that I'm hoping this happens, my broker's not in the hallway listening. Um, but if my broker came in here and said, hey, we're we want you to leave the firm. I go, okay. Like my business is going to be okay because my clients do business with me. Like the brand. Yes. Right. I, I like the brand of the company, but they do business with me. Right. Um, you're right. No valuation. Uh, great question. I know. I have... She said great valuation and great question. Marianne, could you um, just expand on that one a little bit? Can you touch on that again? Valuation and great you said valuation? Uh, reevaluation. Oh, great. Yeah, great great reevaluation. It's like slash resignation. So that's if you if you Google that term, you'll find a lot of data on that. Um, you know, the other thing with hybrid work right now is that, you know, employees are driving this and right, we're starting to see employees are driving some of these decisions. Um, the you know, employees like having a lifestyle, a work lifestyle day. You know, so they like being at home and multitasking with personal things while they're working. And so there's more balance. They're finding more people are finding more balance in this new work model. Um, and so how, you know, this is going to develop will be something to watch, um, you know, as we go. And um, again, it all comes down to the branding of you and where you're going to be most fulfilled in those work environments. So what if, um, like I'm working for a company, cause this happened with a, with a coaching client of mine recently. Um, who she's like, I'm building my brand, but the company doesn't want me to Right, The company wants it. Like, what are you doing? Don't We don't want you building it. Because it, it's an insecurity of the company, let's be honest, right? The company has low self-esteem. They're scared that if you build your brand, you're going to leave or somebody's going to take you away. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like telling your wife not to do her hair and look pretty, you know, like, yeah. don't do it. Oh, my goodness, no, please don't. Um, right. So what would you say to, to somebody like that? So that used to come up a lot um, in the early days of branding and, you know, employees branding themselves and, and corporations um, not really wanting that. Um, but now I've got to say um, companies really want to collaborate with their employees and have a they realize that if the employees are actually branding themselves, it's helping the company. So if you can come up with a strategy for your firm and you're, it's actually a win-win and, and it's actually um, you know, better for the company if the employees are going to brand themselves and talk about things online that's going to bring up the company brand. Um, it just helps them build brand equity. So, um, you know, there are social media rules in some of these en in the enterprise company, obviously in corporate, when you get into corporate America. So there is some rules around that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's really a win-win when you think about it. Hey, but I'm going to say... If they don't want you to build a brand. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> maybe it's time to take a, take a leap of faith, folks. Look at you. You have to have 
the the strength and the courage to know that look at I'm gonna jump out this window and I'm gonna build this airplane on the way down. Uh, I, I think there's so many entrepreneurs and, and people in real estate. You are your own business, folks. Like we do park our license right. at a brokerage, but you run your own business, right? Independent contractor. I remember I, I said that to Correct. my first manager who was like, you need to be coming in and work with a white shirt and a colored tie and a suit. And they go, uh, independent <laughs> contractor, sir. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to do. If I could live in corporate America, I'd be, you know, getting six figures doing something like that, but I'm not going to do yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> what else do we want to leave them with? I want to leave them with. Um, well, this uh, always just always be learning more about who you are. You never you never stop learning who you are on this journey of life. So always oh. be curious. I like that. Um, I I always talk to your clients. What about that? Before we go, talk to your clients to figure out because sometimes if you have challenges figuring out who you are or who your brand right. is as a business your clients right. already know because they picked you for a certain reason right let's right I, I i just stumbled upon that in my adhd brain as it's floating around in different directions um yeah what's the best Certainly. way to have that real candid conversation like why me right without sounding like why me why'd you pick me but like you know, what made you make the choice? You have so many options. Like in, if you're in Rochester, New York, you have 3,000 realtor members to choose from. Right. Yeah. Why did you choose me, this one person out of 3,000? I know. Same in Massachusetts. Same everywhere. Connecticut. Um, you know, I, I, it's likability, don't you think? I mean, likability, trust. Trust, likability, and just knowing you've had a relationship for a bit of a time that people trust you. They, you have this ability to communicate that allows them to want to work with you um, or to learn more about you. You have some common, some things in common. Um, referrals, you know, referrals are huge in your, your marketplace and mine. Um, and it's, it's really working with your existing clients and asking them who they know for an introduction. Um, those are your best, I, I believe for me too, it's still the best way to expand um, you know, your, your clientele fast, faster than well, going to the gold market. I, I agree. How would you like ask them for a referral? No, no, no. That's, we got that covered. Like, how would you ask them why they, to help identify your brand, right? Cause sometimes I'm having trouble. I have, I have trouble with my self-reflection and looking inward. Um, how can we ask our clients like, Hey, what are some of the reasons why you chose our team, our company, me specifically? Will that help us build, you know, with our strengths, our skills and our and our our core mm -hmm. values? Right. If somebody says to me, you know what, I, I follow your social media all the time. I love how you're you talk about your family all the time. Your kids are in your videos yeah. constantly like that resonated. That helped me, actually, when somebody yeah. said that to me, because I was I'm just having fun with my kids because. I love my kids, right? right? And then yeah. somebody goes, oh my God, it's so nice. Out. I'm not doing a freaking property tour video, right? It's got nothing to do with real estate, but they saw that resonated with them. And I'm like, oh, that's when it all kind of clicked for me. But how can we uh, ask yeah. them? You know, is it, just, is it really just ask them or is it better to have yeah. like a, a third party, like our broker ask or... Um, it's not that hard. I would just have the conversation, you know, what is it in this experience that resonated with you that made you happy? Um, what is it specifically, you know, why did you come to our firm's brand? You know, so it's really, I think people, a lot of times they don't even know. It's just, they have a relationship with you and that you do good work. So you, you want to show up as someone who's going to take care of them A to Z. I mean, people don't, want you to drop the ball ever so you really have to stand in the customer service is everything right now and just you know doing the little extra things um showing that you care and that you're going to go the extra mile to make them happy okay I like uh, and i that. think it's just asking i really yeah. do and yeah sometimes the answer is so simple just ask <laughs> them just ask them jeremiah just I mean, ask them I do. I have a conversation with my clients all the time. I'm like, is this working for you? I have these check-ins, you know, how, how are we doing? How are we doing this week? 
before I, you know, have a conversation and get into the business, it's how you doing this week? What's going on? Anything changed from last time? How are you feeling today? Um, you know, how did that news affect you yesterday? Did your kids see that or whatever? And it's just, I just have the connection point first before I get into any business because they may not be ready to talk a heavy business, you know, talk yet based on where they're at. So I, I just take the temperature every single time. So it's these little, little steps that you're with them the whole journey. Well, and, um, asking the questions and like expecting a response and then actually listening right and, go, and going deeper rather than like some people go how you doing they're not really right. at they don't want to know how you're doing they just they like, go, good how are you good how are you and just like keep keep it moving but when you um because we use that quote all the time people don't care how much you know so they know how, how much you care i right? know well, i think in this market you know some people are not getting the homes they want i mean let's face it Most. they're putting these bids yeah they're not it's disappointing they're frustrated they, they don't know what they're going to do next. They're on these huge pauses and delays in their life right now. So the stresses are real for them. Um, and so what are the things you can do as a human being to that, you know, to make them feel better? I don't, you know, like these things are going on and it's also amongst your peers, you know, there's so much going on in the market to, to grab the listing. So there's a lot happening in real estate right now um, where you're, it's really causing you guys to like step in and, and how ask your clients or your people you're working with what else you can do for them. And I know you're doing that cause I know you, you are all good at what you do, but. Uh, so we, we have a couple good comments here. So, so Billy P from Billings, Montana says I posted on social and, and she got a ton of replies. She just asked the question on her social media. Like, why did you guys choose me? That's, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Dr. Jeffrey Scott Stanton from New York, New York says uh, great question to ask. If you were going to recommend me to your mom, what would you say about me? That, that's nice. a good one. I, I like <laughs> that, that good. too. Like, yeah. Mama. <laughs> like that. Uh, oh, but wait, I almost missed one, one more question from uh, Sabrina Lowry from the ATL, but she's actually in Rochester, New York. Sabrina, I'll see you in a little while. Um, does, do you recommend separate branding pages for each company? Can we combine the marketing? So Sabrina, just expand on this. I'm going to guess what, on what you're saying. So she's a, she is a real estate company and then she's, she is also a speaker. Um, should those be separate brands, separate brand colors? Should the colors kind of complement each other? Um, I know I, when I started the speaking, somebody goes, well, it's different, make it different. So they're not diluted, but what, what? Yeah. Um, I guess I would ask you is, is the speaking a side hustle for you or something additional because no, it's a, it's yeah. a part it's of a it. Part. No, it's okay, a business. So it, yeah. It's a, it's a business. Um, and, and so, yeah, I would make it, I would separate it. It's, it's, it's still part of your brand. Like I have a couple different pages from my company that are different. So it's a different brand. So I think that's fine. Yeah. And you can still collaborate using them both in your marketing when you talk to people that you maybe speak on topics and you're also an expert, you know, in real estate. So, yeah. oh, no, no, it's my primary, she says. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I think, I think own your brand in that for sure. Keep it separate. Yeah. And, and I know <laughs> when I started to get successful with speaking, then it was like, agents in my market try to use that against me you know in that interview like oh he's probably speaking somewhere and then i would use it in my like well you know what i, I actually train real estate agents all over the world on how to do what i do in the real estate transaction so if you right. have somebody come in they may be one of my students and then to <laughs> air right out of that one yeah. well and you use your name right like i have loretta a stevens.com like that's a brand for my speaking you know, so, um, so there, there, yeah. Use your name for your brand for sure. Yeah. Loretta Red Stevens, Loretta. <laughs> Loretta Ann, you've done a great job today. I gotta say, thank you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use that in my name now. I like how you have Jamie. I'm going to use Rhett. <laughs> it's, it's cool. I don't know if it's going to work for me though. I, I mean, Kanye was, just changed his name better. to yay. So, you know, yeah, you true. He did do that. Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> better than a symbol, I suppose. Um, well, yeah. I, we thank you for spending some time with us today and, and, and imparting your knowledge. Yeah. We'll put your contact information out. Uh, guys, okay. keep in mind, Loretta is a national speaker. 
Uh, she speaks on branding. So if you need somebody to come to your organization, Women's Council of Realtors, Young Professionals Network, uh, mm -hmm. Real Estate Board, State, National, whatever it is, she has voice, will travel. Like that. I, I You're so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll put your website in the comments. Anything else kind of? Great. No, this was really fun. I, I really enjoyed the discussion today. Um, thank you, really. Thank you so much for all that you do for everybody. I'm going to give you a round of applause. <laughs> and because I haven't yet, I forgot to do this. <laughs> oh, that's right. The DJ Airhorn. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in for another wonderful episode of Ask the Experts, Anything Meaningful Friday, also known as A-Team Friday. Uh, this is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Next week, we're going to be back with client appreciation parties. We just had ours last Friday. Uh, we're going to give you the blueprint on how to have a successful event, how to get referrals at the event, how to get reviews, recommendations, and then have them help you figure out what your brand is. So thanks for tuning in. Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Make it a great day.